Hey guys, sorry for that little cut right there. Uh, my my phone ran out of memory to record more, so yeah. Uh, so basically, what I did was that I crossed through this and everything. Um, there is a little Deku scrub right over here or something. What you have to do is that you have to get your hook beetle, use it to grab onto like one of these bombs or something, and then bomb drop it. And then there are like these little spiny things on the rope. Uh, use, your, use your slingshot to shoot down some of that stuff. But yeah, now I'm here. And I missed the rope. Don't worry, if you fall down, you don't lose any health. Um. Okay. Actually, when I'm done with this, I th think I might just go ahead and uh, crap at that. Oh yeah, there are more tickets for it. So. Okay, now what you want to do, grab your beetle, and then drop it. First, grab your larva, larvae or whatever you want to pronounce it. Oh, this would be so much easier if I had the big bug net. But anyway, push this log. I don't know why it didn't give me my shortcut. Um, there. Right here is another gossip stone. Um, basically what I do to get free memory on my phone is that I basically just put all my videos on my computer and then delete the videos on, on my phone since I already have them on my computer. <laughs> but anyway, recovered health will be lost some, like I did. But yeah, your dowsing will tell you that the water is somewhere in here in the temple. So just go in here. Yeah, it's not possible to use my dowsing ability, sadly. Yep. X marks the spot. Uh, there are greater enemy presence in here. But you should be fine. After one of the examples is the Quadra Baba. Now that you 
You know that you have that little shortcut there, but once you try to go there, this guy appears. Hold it. You're that guy. The guy I met in Volcano. Here to do some treasure hunting too. Yep. I called it. You got treasure hunter ran all over your face. Did the big stone guy out there tip you off? The loot too? Stone guy? Yeah. What do you say? Strum a chord. Most beautiful in the place within the temple where the butterflies dance. Right here. Humming. You need to sing. And here we go. Well there, buddy. I bet you think you're gonna go right ahead and swipe all the best treasure for yourself. So yeah, what, I, what I'm in front of right now is God's wall. These are walls that you can draw on. Uh, draw hearts, you can get recovery hearts. Draw a circle, you can get bombs. Uh, draw the Triforce, you can get fairies. Uh, draw rupee money, and you can get money. But right now, I'm going to try to get money. So let's see here. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they'll give you like silver rupees if you draw them, if you draw the rupee pretty good, which obviously I didn't. But anyway, let's go up into here. Okay, are any presents? Uh, we have any second shoot bow and arrow, uh, shoot arrows. Huh, that, I didn't know that you could do that. Wow. Well, I guess you can, you can use your little spin attack to hit him if you're underwater. It appears that one of Giram's underlings had rearranged the lock here. Great. But, but luckily I know where it's at. Let's see. You want to go in, into here? Chance, just fantastic. I work like a weasel just to swipe a key from that monster, and then I have to go and lose it. Well, this guy lost the key. What do you want to do? So you want to get on, uh, go to the bottom, crawl through this hole. Climb up here. Notice the thick spot from last time. Here's the key. Oh my god! 
I never had this much trouble with passion. But anyway. Well here's the here's the example of of this shield. You can it will repair itself over time. Like it just did. But once you upgrade this to the goddess shield, which is the final upgrade for this, it's pretty darn strong. Um, map? This took me a little bit to figure out. These archer guys, you cannot get past them just by simply walking. So what you need to do, grab your hook beetle, uh, stay behind the wall, launch your beetle, there are bombs right here, try to dodge the archers. They will shoot down your beetle. Like that. It's good you shoot. There. It might be a little bit tricky for some people, but it's not that hard. Or at least in my opinion. <laughs> Sheesh. Well, actually, I came here for water. You can open up the door, the boss door again. But don't worry, you do not have to fight Giram again. But instead you'll be fighting all these! Sadly, no heart container. I'm just gonna break all these pots to get the items out of them. Some will have some hearts. Some might have bombs. Like that. I got all but one. Not bad. I detect sacred water nearby. 
So yeah, the sacred water is it's somewhere over there. But I want to go explore and see here. Um, this. But the sacred water is right over here. So what all you need to do is equip your empty ball, scoop, you have some sacred water. This pure water can heal the wounds of the water dragon. It has mystical properties that cannot be found in ordinary water. There is a 95% probability that the water here is identical to the water within the Water Dragon's basin. I suggest we take it back to her. Yeah, there is no time limit for it, so... <coughs> we can go up to the sky. And what I'm going to do is, uh, is that before I do give the water to the water dragon, I'm going to upgrade some stuff first. So yeah. Dust Relic and one more monster horn to upgrade that. Which I believe that we can get the monster horns after the uh, the next temple. And then we can get more Dust Relics in the next uh, Silent Row. But let's go ahead and upgrade this. Go for it! Upgrade it. to the quick beetle. It flies faster than the beetle. Watch where you're flying, speedy. Uh, let's see. Wow, I need more ancient flowers, which I can get at the Lightning Desert. I have everything else, though. Uh, how about bug man? I might need more ancient flowers and tumbleweed. Oh, uh, let's upgrade my, my seed satchel. Okay. So it's always nice to have some extra seeds. Let's see. And then I would need more monster claws. Uh, hold on. I'm just adjusting the camera a little bit. There. A little bit better. Um. So yeah. That's 
That's about all what I can upgrade so far. Uh, but I'm upgrading my shield to the God's shield before I get into the to the uh, temple after the, the temple that I want to go in. Alright. But anyway, let's keep going. So go ahead, so go ahead and go back to the water dragon. Oh my god! He's huge! Be quizzic. I can feel its energy surging through me. Behold the full majesty of fun. Water dragon and guardian of the lands, I stand tall, healed and whole once again. Why am I doing that voice? <laughs> Turn, I'll grant you the favor you have asked me to lead you to the sacred flame of my land. Come. Captain Maxi from Team Magma. Now be home. Sacred flame you seek lies within this place. While the waterfall has barred entrance to this place for many years, monsters have still found a way in, and they flourish. Ah, but you are the god's chosen hero. Sweating a few monsters will be no trouble for you. I imagine you and I will cross paths again. Until then, do not lower your guard. <laughs> Farewell, boy. Why am I doing that voice? Camera. 
ancient cistern or cistern or whatever it is. Um, immediately what you want to do, go into the water, spin dash, get that, there are silver rupees there, so of course you want to go get them, why wouldn't you? So two in each hand, very nice, if you pass the trial. Carved into the great statue are encryptions of gratitude. They reveal the secret order of this temple. First the back, then the rear, then the back of the right hand, and finally the back of the left hand. But I don't memorize the secret combination of this. You monsters! Okay, this one is kind of tricky-ish. Once you get those Coltillas on the ground, you want to do this kind of spin, uh, spin attack. To reveal them. And yeah. Right here is that secret lock that they're talking about. Strike the gemstones pointing in the four directions wisely. The way will only open for one who knows the temple's secret order. Yeah, wanna know what the secret order is? Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, down. Left. Right. Up, down, left, right. That's the secret combination. Oh wow, that's right. Um with this with the quick beetle, hold down the A button to make it go faster. Whoops. They did not mean to press start with my with like the back of my thumb. Well I failed. <laughs> that oh. Uh these little things on the bottom will hurt you. And, oh wow, when upgrading the seed satchel, it automatically gives you, uh, seeds, so be thankful for that. Um, jump off of here. Oh no. Yeah, that way is the right way. But I don't want to do that path, so... Ow. I guess.
guess. <laughs> I missed. Oh, I missed. Um. Wow. Wow. Oh, I don't remember how to do this. To do that one. Oh, anyway, you want to grab those real quick? Uh, link, link. There we go. So close. Oh well. Um. No. I will get the rupee. Oh, you. If I can. Oh my god! Okay, Link. Link! You dummy! You dummy! Nothing in that grass. Um, open this to get the dungeon map. Or a small key. Either one works. And then the only locked door is right over here. I don't know why there's an X there. I can't remember why. Wow, I'm actually kind of close to getting the dungeon item. Okay. I honestly don't remember how to get that one. Fine, whatever. Uh, what do you want to do now? Link? Link! God! You want to go up into the stream? Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know how Deku Bomb has gotten here. Um, this part is just not a bug. Let's see where the map is going to go. All the way over to the other side. Can't wait to get the next upgrade for the sword. So let's see, what's this? Okay, God Sword. I really can't do anything about, about that X mark. So let's go in here. do jump all the way down to the bottom but first at the top here is the dungeon door jump down here This guy isn't fooling around. We'll see why. Oh my god. Yeah, so now he has four arms. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're D-E-D. You're D-E-A-D dead. I'm gonna crack open the, some skulls, see what's in them. Mostly hearts. Do I saw that heart metal on me? Okay, I guess I do. That's why they're making two hearts appear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Open up the chest and I believe you get the dungeon item. Which is... You got the whip! Yes, you got a whip. Can't wait to get Zelda. <laughs> Can't wait to get Zelda now. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that. But with the whip, you can grab onto things and then do all these crazy moves. And so, and there are also new enemies in here that 
that you have to do, that you have to kill by using your whip. probably see this is a multi-floor uh, dungeon. The first one in this game is multi-floor dungeon. <laughs> hmm. But not only can you just uh, flip switches in it with this whip, but with these you can flip them. You can flip these plants. And with your whip, you can flip down these levers that you can't reach. And now that you know that, you can go into a fish's mouth. <laughs> what you want to do, take out your whip. You know, this can also, your whip can also act as a rope. Oh my 
god. Ugh, you die. Slingshot or Scattershot, whichever one you have. Assassinate him. Uh, get your whip out again. judge me. <laughs> now, run and dive! As far as on all three of those, jump up here. Um, I will recommend saving in case of something bad happens. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't uh, found the uh, map yet. Kill that and miss that. Kill that, and kill that. has a key on him. So what you want to do is pickpocket him with your whip and steal a key from him. Yes, I know it's pretty weird, but you can thank Nintendo for that. Some important information. 
There's an 85% probability that 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 could be a key that can unlock the door from above. No, you don't say. about that you need to destroy with your whip. Sacred flame is somewhere in there. And right over there. So really we only have two more treasure chests left. Well, I just want to tell me that my batteries in, in this room are only really deplenished. But I don't give a dirt. Jump. Now that you've done that, swim under the. Ah. Uh, swim under the hole. Please, Link. Good Lord, man. I've not had that much trouble with this. Thank you. God, I wish I had out in the boots. Oh my freaking god!
Got it. Okay, no more spin dash for me. Gets to do more climbing. shortcuts.
but that's that's good because that's what you're supposed to do. Actually. Now you want to go into here. Jump down all the way down to the bottom. We you got your dungeon item. Now you're down here. These. Our cursed Boko Boblins. This horrifying Boko Boblin remains re reanimates after death. Anal analysts indicate it fears pure shiny items, and it will startle at the at the sight of a sacred shield, which is the one I have. It is able to reanimate purely through its hatred of the world. And it's attachment to outlandish underpants. Wow. So they all fear my shield. Oh god, they wanna hug, they wanna hug. They all wanna hug. Let's see if I can cheat its death. Wow. You gotta feel sorry for that. Um. That's what I just recommend doing is spin, uh, spin attack and then final blow. Monster Claw! Yay. What you want to do? Jump to the bad water. This water can curse you and hurt you. So I'm not recommending to go in. But what you want to do? Fly your beetle into the socket of an eye and. Hit the switch. Um, go through here and... Go! 
not a swallow, yay. <laughs> More money. Ah, God, that was bad. Yeah, well, I'm blaming for only giving me green blue rupees. But now, with, but now what you want to do is to carry this bomb all the way over here. Oh, what? Oh, crap. Whoops. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. The tape that was holding my camera just gave way. Wow. That was pretty dumb. Um... Okay, I guess that's good. For now, ugh. But, let's go ahead and keep on going. What? Again? Really? God. Ah, Freaking camera. Okay, hopefully that's better. Hopefully. Ah, oh, God. Scoop this back a little. Thank <laughs> you. 
shortcut right here. to its original form and descend below the earth again along the thread. There you will find the key to the path ahead. Powerful words. Well, what do you want to do? Flip the switch. down here and you get the key now they got the blessed idol run do not think about the enemies just run and then sealed away. Now you want to climb all the way up to the top. And yeah. Wow. Even with getting the water the, and doing this dungeon, it, it's only taking about an hour and 15 minutes or so well, hour 20 minutes, I should say, by the end of this. But this is really easy. Put the statue that way. And you already got your blue shape. That easy.
Here are some recovery hearts if you need to recover health. I recommend saving. No, not go outside. Save. <coughs> and get ready. Giram, how did you get to the waterfall? Oh, shut up. What? You're not the boss. Oh my god. You'll be hearing some awesome boss music here in a, in a little bit. do is rip his arms apart. Now that I've done that, flash like crazy. I should be okay, because I have a heart potion and a fairy, and a fairy, so yeah. Stage two, I believe. Yep, he grows legs, and now he has six swords. That really is sick. Try to rip off as many arms as you possibly can. And what and what you're supposed to do? Pick up one of these swords. Um, you just bought me some time. Thank you. Pick out his legs. Now bust open. Now bust open the cage. Yeah. Psycho man, psycho man. Psycho man, psycho man. <laughs> Pick up these all gone. Oh, you yeah, yeah. You must die.
can break some of these. You can break these to get your own heart. Hello. <coughs> oh my god, it's a heart container. Well, here we go. We're getting our first sacred plane. How's that for a 100, I mean, <laughs> one hour and 23 minute video? I don't know how well my camera's gonna handle the flame when it's getting into the sword. Oh, you crazy son of a gun. Oh god. Well, here it goes. Raise your sword, master. Oh wow. <laughs> my camera's acting pretty well. Now let's see. <laughs> Before it was the goddess sword. But now the flames of Fora have improved my sword. So now my blade is longer and sharper to do twice as much damage. Yeah, buddy. It's all grown up. Sort of. Triforce of Courage is lighting up. The Sacred Flame has purified your blade, enhancing and evolving it. Oh my god, it's, an, it's evolving! It's a fucking... <laughs> So, uh, yeah, let's save the, uh, my progress. <coughs> Good lord, something's in my throat tickling it. Hey, I'm the hero of time, boy. But yes, now our sword is longer and sharper. So, let's see what it's called now. The Goddess Long Sword. <laughs> Clever Nintendo. But, yeah.
Alright. Examine. And yeah. And the next episode, you guys will be getting more progress and hopefully finding the next flame. So, see you guys later.